to see you again. Uh, this episode, I will show you how to convert your common birdie to become a mountain bike for touring, folding bike, folding MTB for touring. So, uh, actually, I have a spare birdie which is I quite seldom use anymore because I have not upgraded one. So, what should I do for the this idle birdie? Uh, I have actually, please remember that I have a spare wheel set which is used for road, but uh, I want to convert it, my birdie to become MTB, so I have to change it to an off road wheel set. So I have two wheel set over here, I can use it for road, and this is for off road. So I will not show you how to change the tire, but this time I want to show you what is the feature of this converted birdie. First, I would like to unfold this birdie first. So as you know that this is a, a birdie 2, which is the latest, uh, the second generation of the birdie after uh, birdie issue, the classic birdie. So if you see here, there is still a Chris and Muller uh, brand over here. But the new one, there is no this uh, brand anymore. They will put a birdie over here. Okay, I will finish this unfolding. So the second generation has already adopted this uh, suspension. It's a little bit tight because it's seven zip. And then I have a grip with this uh, suspension to become a, for a, there's a, a valve over here to pump to increase the pressure of this uh, suspension. And then, as I told you, it's still tight because it's been in my warehouse quite some time. Okay. to become an off-road one. So I still use an 18 inch one. The wheel set, the hub is still the standard one, but nothing has changed. And then also the, the brake is still using the, the uh, disc brake. And then the, I just installed this rack. You see that this rack can be folded up and folded down. And then it has some wheel uh, tire stopper over here and then it is used also to to protect this fork if we put some back on it and then this is these two bars is actually used also for the the back the front back okay and then uh, I installed this uh, bottle cage over here this is an extra bottle cage because when we do the touring, sometimes we have to fill a lot of uh, water, water bottle. And also, this is the other one. I installed this an extra bracket because there's no hole for water bottle cage over here, so I put another extra over here. And then uh, the other one is the standard one, of course, the Garmin, the GPS, and the, the ring. And on the back, I installed this uh, rack. So this rack will move together when it is folded, like you just see just now. And then the, the other one, I changed the, the cassettes to become four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten speed here right now. And then with the single speed on the, uh, on the chain ring, 
I use the 5040 uh, because I think this is mostly uh, easier because when you have a single speed, it's better to use something which is not too big when you need uh, a mountain uh, uphill riding. And then uh, I install this uh, pedal holder on the back so you can just put it whenever it is folded. It's a very convenient one on the left side and the right side over here too. And then I also already changed this uh, RD uh, to become a short one because if we use the uh, a slow speed, which is a bigger uh, cassette over here, then sometimes it can crash the stone on the floor. And then the, this pedal actually, uh, I choose this one, uh, is uh, what we call a quick release. But this type, it uses this uh, U-ring to lock in order to protect this pedal not moving easily. But sometimes the problem is when you miss this U-ring, you can replace it with the uh, couple ties. But when you have the couple ties, you have to cut it. So uh, remember to bring some spare if you're using this kind of things. And then I install this uh, chain ring protector, something like uh, to uh, make it stay on the, on the right track because there is no front wheeler over here so I just put it here to protect this chaining not to lose from this right and come over here same case over here on the, on the left side on the left side I install this pedal holder over here it's close to this kickstand from Minora see and then Again, this type of quick release pedal is using this U ring, plastic ring. So if you lose it, then you have to be careful because when you lose this part and you are accidentally put this, right, your shoes, then it will fall down. So, yeah, this is, you have to be ready. Uh, be careful with this kind of uh, pedal. <coughs> and the other uh, benefits is that since it has uh, suspension with the elastoma above on the back, so we have uh, more convenient ride. Yeah, more convenient because it has a full suspension. Okay, now let me show you how to install the back. Okay. Uh, I will show you how to install some back in this uh, folding bike. Some people are uh, concerned about whether this uh, folding bike can store a big back and which is enough for us for uh, week, weekly uh, touring. Right? So I want to show you. I choose this uh, Ortley for the front back. Actually, it says equipped with this a very good very really nice uh, lock over here and then it has also on the back which is we can put it to tighten the bottom one on the left side and then the right side it's just a second installation The way we unlock and lock is using this uh, holder, so it's a minute. It's a second self work. Okay, and then the the front side and then the back side. Actually, I put this cover to protect uh, from the the mud. Uh, 
protector. So, but if we are not using it, we can just put it off and then we replace it with a bigger bag over here. Okay. And then on this side also, put it a feltro and then uh, we could put an extra couple of ties if you need it. From back. Sometimes we need to put the money, the the card, phone, charger, battery. So sometimes we still need a small bag. And then we install this Garmin. Very important one. It's a must. You do the touring over here. Okay. See, and then you put this fabric on the bottom. You can have a magnetic one, and then you can also. Sorry, this. It's uh, necessary to put this velcro because, as I told you before, this brand is not very really strong in holding this magnet, and then you can lose it on the way when you ride on a bumpy road. So, I need an extra velcro over here to protect it. So, that's it, it's just a minute installation, and then uh, you see from here. That the full bike is become very a nice equipped uh, folding bike. You can, I think, it's still also very handy if you want to bring it. It's still very handy, but it can be equipped with a lot of bag, and then you can do a touring for weeks uh, with at least. One, two, three, four, four bags, and if you want to, you can have another postman bag over here, and then another bag on the saddle, and then that's it. So, if you have a spare birdie, don't sell it, don't throw it away. You can convert it to a MTB uh, folding bike for touring, or you can do it for the mountain ride. It's up to you, but I hope uh, you can use every resource that we have. So, okay, before I end this video, uh, I would like to show you how is it look like when it is folded while there is a lot of back in it. First, I put back this kickstand and then this part should be in this position. And then, see? I hold this one. You see that this easy wheel still work. Yeah. So my back are still above this ground. Except that if you have another back on the left and right side, so it will be different. And then I'll put this off. Then the and the the post like this. And then position it down. So it's still safe the, the space if you are bringing it above the train or bus compared to its all full bike. So that's it. I think that uh, using holding bike as a, a touring bike would be much have more benefits compared to the full bike. So one of the options is I convert this birdie folding bag, birdie two second generation into a MTB uh, full bike, what I call MPV because it could put with the full suspension, the rear and the front, and then also with the off-road wheel. You see, it's very pretty and then it's very tough. So that's it, my episode this time. I hope that this 
can be uh, something for you, useful for you to consider. And then, uh, if you uh, it's interesting, then I hope you can give your comments in my inbox and then uh, do like and please subscribe so I can give you another episode of Another Bike. Thank you, stay safe.